Good morning. We are now live. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me. As most of you know, I do this every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And the video just started and we have 120 people watching. So thank you for coming. We usually come and chat before the video, about 30 minutes before. Sometimes 24 hours before this little chat. So um, thanks for coming. If you don't, if you want to be reminded about the video, you can always come to my channel and on my channel page. As after I put the video up to be there, you can click the remind button, or you can say Alexa, set a reminder. What's the reminder for? Melody's video. When should I remind you? 10.30 a.m. on Saturday. Sorry, I can't set reminders in the past. Okay, she thinks it's not for next Saturday, but you know what I mean. Okay, um, if you have questions, please put them in all caps so I can read them because there's a whole lot of chat going on and not all of them are questions. If you, hey, Joan. If you have a question, put them in caps, and sometimes some people in the chat will answer them for you. So also pay attention to the chat a little bit, and you might get your answer. Uh, I want to say, hey, Jamie, thank you for being here, and Glenda, they're my moderators today, and Sheila Rogers is here. She's also at a crop, and Michael Crow. Uh, if anything bad gets said or anything, which doesn't usually happen on my channel, but if it does or any rudeness gets deleted, your comments will be in the video. As you can see them in the video, they stay there forever. Um, what else was I going to say? This video is brought to you today by Young Living Essential Oil Joy. Not really. No one's paying me for this video. <laughs> But I, I just had this in my hand because I love the joy oil. I know everybody says, oh, you're just happy all the time. I am happy all the time because every day I put my joy oil on me. I put it on my arms and on my heart. And I have it in two diffusers right now. So I'm extra happy. And I have it in my hand. And it smells so good. It makes me happy. Okay. Today we're going to talk about labels and stickers and how to make them. I have done videos in the past on how to do them, like for planners and stuff. So uh, we usually try to keep this video down to an hour. Sometimes it goes longer. Uh, I don't have a video right after this one, so we could go a little longer. I always want to answer your questions and make sure everybody gets their questions answered. Uh, the cubes I have, somebody is asking me about, those are from Amazon, and I have an Amazon store. Not really a store, a shop. It's like my favorite things that I use, and things I have in my craft room, and things I love on Amazon in my shop. I do have a link in the video description. I also have it in my about on my channel. So if you go there, it has all my social media at the top and then it has all the things I love. Okay, now I'm going to tell you guys this. <laughs> I bought my kitchen sink from Amazon. So I put that in my shop too. And that was just kind of a joke because I have everything in there, including my kitchen sink. Um, but it's a really cool sink. So, hey, I put that in there. If you want my sink, you can buy it. Um... Oh, and the cricket sale, huge cricket sale. For those of you that don't know, that don't follow me on Facebook, I've posted it everywhere on Facebook and in the YouTube community. If you don't know about the YouTube community, go to my channel and then click on the community button. But if you do that from this video, you may leave this one, but you can find it again by clicking on the video on the my channel page. So if you go back to the homepage of my channel, you'll find the video. So whenever there's a huge sale like this, I try to post it on the community page so no one misses out. Um, Michael says, I feel like we need a video for that. What Melody's favorite things? Oh, okay. Yeah, Glenda, I'm, I, I said the Alexa thing out loud so she would set a reminder for everybody else too. 
Um, what setting do you use for a contact paper? I haven't used contact paper in so long in my Cricut. Um, I don't know, maybe like vinyl or something. Um, okay. What was, what were we going to do? We're going to talk about that. Oh, and in my about page, you can't click on those links. YouTube doesn't let you, but there is a link to my referral code for Tesla. If you know somebody buying a Tesla Model S or X and they use that referral code, I get things like somebody's already used one. So I think I'm going to get a little baby Tesla, like for a six-year-old to drive, or a Tesla charger for my garage, a special one. I don't know. I get to cho choose. But if you sign up to the Tesla newsletter through that link, you get put in a drawing to test, to race, I think. I think they say race or test drive the new Tesla semi-truck. It's a semi-truck full electric. Elon Musk is doing something wonderful making a Tesla semi-truck. There's, you know, it's so much safer for the environment. And it goes from zero to 60 extremely fast. I don't remember the numbers, but it's really fast and amazing. And that would be awesome. By you registering, it puts me and you in the thing. And of course, I'm going to record everything and share that experience with you if I get drawn. They're going to draw one every week. Oh, happy birthday. Okay. Let's get started in design space, shall we? Um, but wait, let me show you what made me do this video is because I am doing labels for my chalk couture paint paste see the white and cricut has sent me some clear sticker paper it's clear printable sticker paper i did not use the printer i used my cricut to write on them so like here's one and here is some so here's how it turns out i did this one in silver i know it's hard to see but black on this dark color of paint. I don't have that color actually yet. It's coming. Uh, you wouldn't be able to see the name. So I have, and the sheets, I cut this one because I first messed it up because the first setting wasn't working for me. So they have a setting for the clear sticker paper, a custom setting, and I had to use um, more pressure so for those of you that don't know how to use more pressure, I will show you that in Design Space. Um, but these, I don't know if I have that one. Oh, I don't have these. These are for my inks. Um, here's, the, here's the new clear sticker paper. It is completely clear. Let me put one on. Let me find one. So I can rip this off. This is one of the ones that didn't work so well. Didn't cut great, and I'm still using them anyway. So it's pretty clear. You can see my thumbnail in there. My, yeah, not my thumbnail, my thumbprint. So I'm just putting it on. Not very straight. And it doesn't rub off. This is just, I just used a Cricut marker. So you can make address labels. You can do so much with this. I It just dries. Like I don't touch it when I first bring it out of the machine. Um... The sticker paper is not on sale yet. Usually they don't put the new stuff on sale. I will announce it on Facebook when it's on sale. I Here's the silver pen I used. It's This is just the Cricut pen. Um, I think I put the black one away. It's just the black 
one point pen. I didn't do the fine point. It's the medium point. It has one point. It is a full sheet. Here is, these are my inks. I have an, a different project and then these are all my paste. And I used an older pen on this one and the tip was like pushed in a little bit. It wasn't as pointy of a tip. That's why this is thicker. Um, I cut these first and then I switched it back to this pen. Um, so it does, it's an eight and a half by 11 and I'll show you how to change that and I'll show you my file and everything and how easy it is. It had no wasted space. I, it finished everything in my file right here. So what I did is I took this paper off and it looks like it doesn't look clear here because you take it off and there's a backing on it. So then I took this whole piece off of my mat, I turned it over, and then I did my inks on the bottom half. So that's how you can save paper. I didn't print, I wrote. I used the font Cricut Sands. It's a free font. Yeah, you can use it for planner stickers. It would be great for planner stickers. Clear shelf paper would not be the same as this because this is printable. I don't know if you could write on the clear shelf paper and clear shelf paper is not clear, it's cloudy. This is not cloudy, this is completely clear. Okay, let's get to design space. And Sheila, you're lucky my song isn't working. I didn't set it up today. Okay, so here are my files that I did. And we're gonna get to how to create your own and how to do your own too. So, um, but I just wanted to show you these. These, and some people think you have to have it all set up before we hit go or make it now, they change that. And line them all up, you don't have to do that. You can have these all on top of each other. There is absolutely no reason to line these up unless you wanted them in alphabetical order. That would be the only reason I can think of to have them lined up. So click on make it. Wow, we have 490 people watching right now. That's amazing. Okay, we're gonna click on make it. And what happened? There we go, I must not have clicked. So it lines it all up like that, but my paper doesn't work that way. It's only eight and a half by 11. So you go over here to material size and change it to eight and a half by 11. And there we have it. There's like no waste. It lines it all up nice and neat. Um, and that's it. Okay, let me show you how to change the pressure. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I lost my chat. There we are. I'm gonna check the chat while this is going. Okay. You can't just flip the mat because it's not a 12 by 12 paper. Because that's what I was gonna do. I'm like, oh, the paper's not in the right place. So you have to flip the paper because it's not a 12 by 12. Madeline asked, she said she got her couture ink the other day. The ink you have to heat set to be permanent. The paste you have to spray on with a Cryline clear paste. Okay, let's go over here. We're gonna click view all. I'm just gonna type in the search clear. It's the only thing that comes up, clear printable sticker paper. And I will show you the other papers too. Like you can use the other papers, but this one. Okay, so now this is the important part. You need to test it on your machine, how it works for you. Because so, I don't know how old my blade is. It could, I, I don't know how old my blade is. Um, so it could be the different blades. It could be 
what you cut, it could be the pressure of each machine. But I had to, instead of just leaving it on default, you click the little arrow here, and I had to click on more. And then it clicked my, um, and then it worked perfectly. It was perfect cut, but I did have to click the more. Um, so that's all I needed to show you for that. Oh, let me see the questions, get back down there. And hit cancel. Yes, I want to cancel. Okay, so do you, okay, I'm gonna show you real quick how I made these. So I wanted a sticker, I wanted a rectangle that was not completely square or pointy. Do you see what I mean? Like, I don't think you can see. Let me. See how it's the corner is kind of rounded? Okay, now that might not be important to you. It really doesn't matter. You can't see it on the bottle at all. But I just didn't want it to be pointy pointy. So I'm going to show you the image I used to do that. It's a completely free image. I go to image. I think all the Explore machines will work, will that pressure work? <laughs> I'm not making any sense. Belinda asks, which machines will that actually work with on pressure? You can change the pressure on all the Explore machines, every machine that uses design space, if you go to custom settings. and Yeah, it's a slight round edge. So I, click, I clicked on images. I clicked on cartridge. I click on Sue Nelson. Thank you so much. I click and then I search basic. And then I come down to craft Cricut craft room basics. This cartridge is completely free. I use it all the time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a rectangle. It has corners. I didn't want this one because it's more rounded than what I wanted. You can choose that, you know, but this is the one I used. I inserted it, okay? But I did not use this blue piece. I hid that. Now my computer's acting up. Oh, wait, forgot. I'm waiting for it to do something. It's all me. You have to show the background. So all of these images in that cartridge they all have a background so they look like this so they have see the like shadow behind it what I do is I hide this and I use this piece and I can change that to this and then it's slightly rounded let me zoom in for you see how it's rounded so that's what I use for the sticker okay And what I do is I just make one sticker. Well, let's take, let's just take this one because it's at the bottom. I duplicate that sticker. Okay, now this one is attached because you have to attach the writing. So detach. So, okay, let's pretend we're doing this for the first one. We take this. We make it the size we want. We add text. And then type the text we want. But that went away because I'm way at the bottom and the text goes at the top. Uh, let's just make the same one. This is slower when I'm doing um, a live video. Okay, so it's school bus. Oh, and it's also slower because there's so much writing on this. This is why it's slower than normal because when you have a lot of writing like this, the design space works really slow. 
And that's why I made a separate file for my inks. Um, so then this is the font I use, Cricut Sans. But you can change the font here. You can, um, oh, what I did, I should probably do this on another file because this is slow. You change the style to writing. So if you want it to write like mine did, you change it to writing. And I'm going to show you printable stickers and stuff too. We're going to get to that. I just want to show you this real fast. And then you size it by hitting the little arrow here. You put it on top of your label. And I know it's not, I'm not keeping this one. I'm going to delete it. And then you select them both by, whoops, see what I'm doing? I had that selected also. Just put the box around your two images to only touch the two and then click attach. And then that sticker is done. Okay, so I detached it. I'm getting rid of this because it's, so now when I want to make another one, I don't do that for every single one. I've already chosen the font. I've already chosen the size of the font and everything I want. So that's why I chose this and I hit duplicate. So then we got this. And I'm going to arrange this and put up to the front. If I didn't do all that other stuff, it would be fine. I wouldn't need to do that. So then I want to change the font to do another label. I click this and then type in the new color let's say blue and like I said this is going so slow because there's so much writing in here so we're gonna get out of this file really soon and I'll show you the difference Okay, so now this one is a different, it's not as long as this. So I unlock the lock and just drag it there. And then I select them both and attach. And that's how I got my labels. We're going to delete that because that is not a real color. And let's just start new. Do you guys want to see? We're not going to replace, we're not going to save it because it's already been saved. Okay, so we have new project. Um, do you guys want to do planner stickers? Let's just, let's do this and then we'll do like just different shaped stickers. Um, let's unlock it. We do this. If you want specific sizes, you have to know the sizes of your sticker you want. And then you can put the specific size up here in this area. I'm not going to do that. Let's say we want this. So I'm going to say we want like a whole, you know, little roll, 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 row is what I'm trying to say. Oh, let's do five of these. Okay, I'm going to select them, align to the left. They're all even. I did five of these, right? Did I only do four? No, I did four. Okay, let's add another one. And I want that there. Okay, so now I messed them up, so I'm going to align to the left. Now I'm gonna distribute vertically so they're even. If I want them closer together, I can like move this up. Align, distribute vertically. I want them even closer. Align, distribute vertically. Okay. Now, if I want these to stay like this, I can attach them. I can change the color. 
But what I'm going to do is weld them. You don't have to weld them. You can attach and they'll still work. The reason I'm going to weld them is because I want them to be pretty. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to change them to print. And I'm going to choose a pattern. Uh, let's choose this, see what happens. So now you have really pretty stickers for your, and you can add writing on these. Okay. Um, well, that's not how to spell Monday. You can have, okay, let's first just do print. Say you want them to say the days of the week. Whoops. Can't see that very well. Let's change the color. Okay, so that background was not very smart background. If you want to have writing on, it's hard to see. Let me just zoom in so you can see. So if I wanted that, what I would do is duplicate this so it's exactly the same size. Double click it for Tuesday. And I wish my fingers knew how to type. And do that. Now, if you want these to print, on these, which I think you would, let me show you what to do. Okay, I'm not going to do them all just because there's no need for that. I would just duplicate and type it again. If you're watching the replay and you didn't see how I just did that, pause the video and rewind it just a little bit. Okay, so we want it to print on here. And what I find in a lot of the groups, people ask how to do that, and a lot of people say attach it. If you attach it, this Monday is going to cut out. So it's going to cut out of the sticker. The sticker is not going to be a full piece. So what you can do is select everything you want to print, and then you flatten. Flatten is down here at the bottom of the layers panel. So you need to flatten it. Now it looks much prettier actually. It doesn't have the cut lines on it. So now it will not cut. Oh, distribute does not work on iPad? I didn't know that. I did the flower background by using a pattern and I will show that again. Isn't that pretty? So you can make your own stickers. Okay, let's... But this is not, we want to print a full page of stickers. This is not all the stickers we want to do. Um, let's say we want some heart stickers. Now you can change these stickers. We're going we're gonna to print these stickers, okay? These are ones we're going to print. We wrote on the first ones I talked about. So these are going to be not that big. And say I want to change the color to pink. I want some pink ones. So I'm gonna duplicate this because I want more than one pink one. I'm gonna select these and align to the top. They're too close together. Because I want them to cut out as separate stickers. Okay, now I'm gonna align them. Okay, so those are even. We're gonna keep those. Um, Actually, let's go ahead and weld those because I'm going to duplicate. So now these three hearts are welded. Let's say I want six hearts. Okay, let's duplicate them again. Okay, now let's do this. Let's select those all, weld them. I'm just doing this as I'm thinking, like this wasn't even my plan. Duplicate this, and we got more. You can line these all up and fill up your entire page with hearts, but I wanna do something different. 
let's oh these are not selected as print either so if i want these to print i just can just change these to print these i want to print with a pattern so we're going to choose print and then right underneath print i'm circling it with my mouse are patterns so choose the pattern and um Most of these patterns are my digital paper I've uploaded. Let's do that one. This one. Wait a minute. Down further. This one. So now we have, because they're all welded together is the reason it took on the whole picture as one. Do you see what I mean? Oh, these are welded together too. And I saw a few questions and I'm going to answer that. So let's just duplicate these. We're going to line these up. Oh, wait a minute. Let's just separate them. Align top. You can distribute these two. Now these, you, they're not um, welded. So I will have to go in there and print and change the pattern individually. And you can edit the pattern. Down here at the bottom, you can edit. So if I wanted to flip it that way, or rotate it or make it smaller so it repeats itself or make it really big you can do that okay now there were some questions about how it's going to cut and let me show you that because that's important Yes, you can turn any image into design space into a sticker, and I will show you that in a minute. Um, let me. Okay, somebody says they have the Cricut sticker paper and their printer will not take it. The, I don't suggest the Cricut sticker paper, to be honest, for stickers. I suggest that for embellishments on cards or scrapbooks or things like that. It's cardstock. It's thick. It's not like for stickers like what we think of as stickers. If you want to make stickers, printable stickers, I do suggest the printable vinyl. I love Cricut's printable vinyl. I love it. It's amazing. It's great for planner stickers. But now I love the clear sticker paper the clear sticker paper will is glossy the printable vinyl is not glossy so it's more of a glossy texture it's not as thick as the sticker paper so like these would be so pretty on that clear sticker paper it, it, they would just be beautiful um there were some more questions Yeah, I just answered that one. Yeah, you can make your own labels this way. You can make your own labels for your canisters in the kitchen, for your salt, pepper, whatever you want to do. Okay, here's a question. When you flattened, does it cut around the set of boxes or around each individual box? It will cut around each individual box. Now, it will not cut the Monday out of that because I flattened Monday on top of it. When they're flattened together, they will just cut out each individual box because there's nothing between them. See, you can see the, let me make it bigger. Well, I don't know if that helps. But you can see the lines in between them. That means there's nothing there. 
So when there's nothing, it's gonna cut that out. Does that make sense? If I were to attach the Monday, if I changed the Monday to print and then attached it on top, Diane Dean, thank you so much. If I take this Monday and attach it to that without flattening it, it will cut out the word Monday and you will not be happy. Does that make sense? Yeah, some printers don't like that thick. I go in there to the settings and I have to do it in my rear feed and I, I just choose the thickest paper or photo paper or something thick so my printer knows it's thick. Okay. Um, what else was I gonna show you? Do you guys have questions? Um, oh, I know. Now, what happens when we take this to make it? Now, if we want these to print, oh, I didn't change the other heart. I'm like, why are there only two hearts? Because I didn't change it to print. So it's going to cut out these all individually. Okay, let's hit cancel. But we want to fill this paper up and we want to save room. Let's, oh, I know what I was going to show you. How to make any image into a um, sticker. Let's just do this one. Okay, these are all grouped together. You can tell they're grouped because it says ungroup right up here. Now, if I want these to print, I'm gonna duplicate this, so I'm gonna show you how to make a mistake and how to fix it. So, um, What am I thinking? Oh, okay. So I want this all to print. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm going to make a mistake. Okay, I'm changing these all to print. Oh, good, that looks like what I wanna do, right? Let's go to make it. Let's see what happens. That's not what I want. That's a mess. That's, I want these to print on top of these, right? It's not gonna do that. Okay, let's hit cancel. Okay, let's attach it. Don't do this either. Okay, now let's hit make it. Okay, now this, this looks like what I want it to do. But because I attached it, this cutie right here, this yellow, is going to cut out of that. The sweet word is going to cut out. These shadows here are going to cut out. Okay, so we're going to hit cancel. And I don't know, oh, I attached this to it too, so it changed all that to one color to print. That is the wrong way, and now I messed that up. I didn't even mean, I didn't even know I, I grabbed this too. Um, let's go back to images. Select that, insert image. Okay, so here we have the original one. Let's just delete this. Okay, so we want this to print out like these. We don't want them to cut. You can see the black cut line. So it's already grouped together. I'm only going to click flatten. That's all I had to do. I didn't have to hit all those other buttons. I just clicked flatten. And now let's click make it and see what happens. See, that's how it happens. Now, I'm also going to show you how to save room on here too. And we want this to um, cut out a full sheet of stickers. Okay, I'm reading your comments. I don't think they discontinued the printable vinyl. Yep, 
yeah, you can just cut it on paper and stick it through a Xyron to be sticky. Um, okay, these are individual. Let's change that to print. Um, I want to show you how to put it all on the paper. So I'm going to, you can use templates or just use a square. I'm going to see, I want the blank template. Okay, I don't see it. I never use templates. Yeah, I don't know if they have a blank. I just don't use them. So I'm just going to use a square. And I know the printable area. Okay, what's the printable area? I forget. Um, I think it's 6.5 width by... Is it eight something? Someone tell me in the comments in the, whoops, I forgot to lock, unlock this. So unlock this. The width I think is 6.5. Somebody correct me in the chat. Okay, I'm going to change this to white. And I'm gonna change it to the back. So we're gonna click a range and move to back. 6.75 by 9.25. So we're gonna change this to 6.75 by 9.25. Thanks guys, you're amazing. Okay. So now what I wanna do is I wanna save room and I can take this and I can totally duplicate that so I have all these that have that same pattern on it Oops. And you can, now if you're selling stickers, some people sell stickers, I'm gonna select all and move them down. So that's not in my way, okay. If you sell stickers, you want them to look nice and stuff. But if you don't and you're just cutting them for yourself, like when I cut hearts, I move them like this. I like put them really close together to save as much paper as I can. Like I'll put that in there. Turn this one this way. Have so much more room this way. Now I don't want to attach this because it will change everything to the same color. So if you're just doing it just for stickers for yourself or your grandkids or your kids or whatever, save space, move them together. Now, actually, I don't want this piece. We're going to hide it because I only put this white background here. Let's change this so we can see that better. Okay, so I only put the white background here only to know what size to make all this. So if I attach this, what happens? Okay, that's all right. So we can attach it or we can flatten this and then hit make it and I'll put it there just how we want it. See that? Um, and you can make any shape. You can make any image, anything you want into a sticker. Now, one time, oh, I did the snowman. I did a video on these. I did snowman stickers or cricket. Oh, let's do cricket stickers. Those are fun. Cricket. That's my plushy doll. You guys, I have an extra plushy doll in plastic, never been opened, hiding in my closet for my 100,000 
subscriber giveaway on YouTube. So if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. I'm almost to 100,000 and I will be doing a video probably next week on how to enter the giveaway. Um, cricket head, let's just take this one, insert that. So say I want a lot of these little guys printed up. I'm gonna flatten him. Make him smaller. Duplicate, so I don't have to like go back and find a whole bunch of them and flatten them all out. Now if I was gonna save room, I would totally turn him this way. Let's change this. And I would, you know, smash him together to save as much room as possible. But instead, let's just put him back. I can still save room this way. Okay, let's line him up. We're going to click Align. If your machine cuts off and you've calibrated it, call support. They can help you with that. I want to align top or bottom. It doesn't matter. Just make sure there's enough space between them so they don't cut each other. So I'm going to select these and I'm going to attach them together. Whoops. Go back over here. Attach together or you can flatten them for this you can do either one and then you can duplicate okay now let's bring back our sizing for the printable let me change this okay so we want to fit these on here Others are not going to fit. Let's just make these smaller. Okay, so now I have the right size chosen that I want. I'm going to delete these. I'm going to duplicate these. If you want a full page of like these, I'm going to select these. I'm holding down my command key while I select those. I'm going to duplicate Actually, I'm going to attach them all, duplicate them. So now we have another one. It's so like if I wasn't doing all this and just doing a page of these, let's attach these. To whom? I wasn't talking to you. Sorry, you have no numbers listed for your contacts matching. <laughs> and duplicate. Okay, so it's a little, well, I can scoot these over. But that's how you make a whole ton of stickers of the same sticker if you want a full sheet of stickers. Yes, I will go over how to make the pretty stickers. Uh, where I found the Cricut guy, I just clicked on images and in search I typed in Cricut. Okay, how did I change the background back to white? Down here at the bottom, it says blank canvas. So this is always at the bottom of your layers panel. And you can change the color. See? Back to white. Uh, the reason that printable area is not eight and a half by 11 is because it needs the registration marks. Okay, let's hide this again. Or were you talking about bringing that white piece back? I just unhid it. So over here in the layers panel, I hide it. And then uh, uh, now it's there. Let me change this so you can see. 
now it's gone. Now it's there, just hiding it in the layers panel. Now I can attach these or flatten. See, that's a lot of people get confused with attach and flatten. If I attach this Monday on top of that image, it would have cut out. Flattening it will not cut out. The reason you can use attach or flatten here, it doesn't matter, is because we're not flattening it to anything. I've already flattened the cricket, so his eyes and stuff will print out just as they are. So now just to line them all up, even if they're attached, they're all gonna cut out, and that's what we want. So let's click make it. So it fits better this way because I had it too wide, so that's what they did. And you have to have this square on here so the Cricut can read it. If you do a full piece, it is almost to the edges. You're not really wasting much at all. And the reason they put that full square on there now is to get a uh, more perfect cut around your stickers. Okay, somebody wants to see the boxes and how I did that. Let's bring in a shape. Okay, so to change this, to make it pretty, I click on the circle over here, and you can do this with any image. I could do it with the little cricket image. Let's do that next, see what happens. Let's play a little. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on print, right up here, the little printer. And then right underneath the printer is the pattern, so click the patterns. Now, I chose this one to make it so pretty. That is just an image I uploaded from the internet. Um, you can see, look, I have a picture of Ken. I uploaded it as a pattern, not as an image. So now he's in there and I can edit this to horizontal. Michael Crow, thank you. Yay, you're gonna go look at some houses, congratulations. How do you make the words print? Okay, we will do that. I'm trying to move Ken over. So I have to click on, I think I can just change that, but. Okay, so that's good. So let's say I wanted to put some words in here. If you guys don't subscribe to Ken's channel, it's Ken's Creations with a K. Uh, let's give him his gold. We'll put his words in gold. Okay, so now if I attach this to the star, the star will cut out and the Ken word will cut out also. That's not what we want. So to change that, we have to select it all just by dragging the box around it and flatten. So there, it looks like he's eating his name. Um, now we can go in here and, oh, we flattened it, so we have to unflatten. We can't, okay. Now I'm going to click on here and edit, click on the layers panel, and I can make it a, a flowers. I can make it leaves. When you haven't used one before, it takes a little longer for it to work the first time. <laughs> Ken's eating his own words. Yes. Okay, this is taking forever. This is a bigger file. Now, 
No, there's no reason to weld or attach when flattening. So there it changed to the... And we can edit this. Flip it. Flip it again. We can make it smaller. We can make it bigger. This, uh, this is my digital paper. I did this by cutting out leaves with my Cricut and I made stencils and then I painted them into a journal. And this is from my journal. And see, that's not attached. Now, if I want to put his name in there, let's make it a little darker. If I want it to all print, I click flatten. How do you upload images as patterns? You click on upload, and then you just upload them to the pattern area instead of over here. You upload here. It's really easy. You just upload if you have digital paper or images or whatever you want. Somebody asked about calibrating. Uh, you just click, see where I click the three dots up here? Click those. Click on calibration. So here's, you have to, when you replace your rotary blade in your maker, you have to calibrate your rotary blade. And then here's where you go for print and cut. And then it's just gonna ask you to print, choose your printer, hit print, and then it gives you the directions. Once you do that, it'll tell you to lay it down here. And there are videos on YouTube on how to do the print calibration. Oh, that is a great question. Uh, what's the difference when you say written font or just trying, I'm just trying to figure this out. So writing font, and you cannot print a writing font. Let me be clear on that. For the images, the labels that I made, <clears throat> let me show you. Okay, the labels I made, these, I could not print these because I did them in a writing style. They won't print. Nothing would print. I could flatten them to it, and they won't, I don't know. No, it won't let you flatten. It won't let you flatten writing style, and let's try that. Um, because writing fonts say write. You can't change them to print. You can maybe change them to cut and then print. I don't remember if I've tried that or not but they're not made to print, they're made to write. So if you have writing on something that you're printing, it's gonna go to the printer and print everything except for the writing. Then when you load it up to your Cricut, your Cricut will write on it, and then it will cut it out, cut out you know, what you have printed, not cut out what you're writing. Let's show that. Okay, let's just move all this over. Let's use a circle this time, and we're gonna make the circle white. And we want to write inside the circle. Okay, you want me to upload a sheet of pattern paper? I'll do that after this. Um, okay, I want to write. I'll add text. Whoops. <laughs> Let's fix that. Why am I doing that? 
Why am I not? Okay, H, L. Oh, the L is already there. I thought I was at the end. Okay, now I could print this, flatten this all, and print that. But it's not writing style. So I want to change this to writing style. BB, thank you so much. That is amazing. Thank you for the $20 super chat. So now it's here in the hello. I mean, it's here to write. It will write on this. To write on this, we have to attach it. But let me wait before we attach it. Um, because we're talking about print and cut and stickers, let's um, change this to print. You know what? You guys want to see a pattern? Let me go ahead and upload a pattern. Images. Nope. See, my mind's thinking of too many things at once. Upload. I don't know what patterns I have. I don't have any on my desktop. Um, I gotta think of them. The names of them. Um, I'm trying to think of some that I don't have uploaded. Let's see, I have that one uploaded. Okay. We will do this one. Okay, now I when you buy my digital paper, you get them like this. These are all the same image. You get them in 8.5 by 11 in JPEG and PNG, 12 by 12 in JPEG and PNG. When you upload to Design Space, you want to use the JPEG. The PNG are huge files, so you want to upload the JPEG. And I can put tags on these or themes and tags and uh, let's say this is more yellow. We'll add green, yellow and green. Let's click save. You can get my digital paper from melodylanedesigns.com. Okay, now up here it says your your pattern fill was successfully uploaded. So you do not see them here. You have to go back. So let's click back on upload. So now I'm gonna make this circle. I changed it to print, but now I wanna make it a pattern. So we're gonna click here at patterns. And then click this. And like I said, it's a little slow the first time it uses it. So there we are. Now, we'll have to attach, whoops. Oh my goodness. I don't want maps. Okay. That little thing needs to go over to this one. Okay, I want to allow it to use my location, but I don't want to. Okay, so now we want to attach. Now, when I print this, it's going to print this, and then it's not going to write on it. It's going to be empty. Like it's gonna be just that picture. It's not gonna have hello on it when I take it from the printer. When I upload it to the Cricut, it's gonna cut around the edge and write hello on it. Does that make sense? Bye, Sheila, have a great lunch. Thanks for coming in, I miss you.
So does that make sense? Um, oh, and let me show you something else too. The shapes. Let's do this one. Okay. It's more the lines and how to do these. Now, if I want some triangles and I want them to be all different, I want them this pattern, but not all just that pattern. I want them a little different. For one, when I do triangles, I do this. Just so I can cut them more on a page without wasting. Okay. Now, okay, I'm going to duplicate this to show you two different ways of doing this. If I wanted a whole page of triangles, I would do this and put them closer together and weld them and make more. Okay. So I want to change these to print. and pattern. Change this one to print and pattern. And do the same thing. This takes a while. Actually, what I would do is just duplicate this and bring that one there. Maybe duplicate this one and bring that there. Okay, so they're all separate. They're all like that. But if I want to share them, having the same image, I would select them all and weld them first. And then, I can't find it. There it is. When you weld something, it moves it all to the same layer. Weld it, click print, click pattern, then this. So it repeats itself. It does a square and then repeats itself. Now, if I want to change, let's go back up here again, to edit the pattern, Do you see how it does all the triangles because it's a welded image? If I wanted it like that. Now, if I wanted these like that, I would have to do that individually. Oh, and then click edit. But here I did them all together because they were welded and welded makes them one image. It will cut out in between these. Let's change this back to white. It will cut out in between the triangles. Super Chat is just a way to donate to me for doing the videos. It's not, no one has to do that. They just choose to. Um, a whiteable white pen for chalkboard paper. Um, there is a white chalkboard pen by American Crafts. The bold pen will not fit. It will fit, fit but it won't write on the paper. You have to use the medium. And I do have the chalkboard pens that fit in the Explorer in my Amazon store. The link to that is below the video and the links to all the big sales on Cricut are below the video. Ink does not stick to regular vinyl. It has to be printable vinyl. Are there any other questions? 
I know I went over a whole lot. So if you're new to Design Space, or to stickers or anything like that, you might wanna watch this over. And I suggest when you're learning Design Space to watch me do a step, pause the video, and then you go in Design Space and you do it too. Have um, a different tab open or have a lot of people use an iPad to watch the video on and then work on the computer. But I know I went over a lot and um, it's hard. Let's, let's choose another. Now there are um, lots of images that are not mine. And then these are pictures I uploaded. Like, I could change. I love that butterfly. I forget about that. Okay, now I'm getting to the ones in Design Space. These are in there. You have to buy them for $1.49. If you buy my digital paper, it's usually, um, depending on the amount of digital paper you get, it's $3.99 to $5.99 for like many, many sheets. These are pretty. You are not able to unweld. <gasps> that one's pretty. I haven't seen some of these. The setting and sticker paper is custom setting. And then choose the sticker paper you're using. <gasps> oh, I love this one. Who is this? Is this? Let me see who made this. I purchased these. I didn't know I had them. They must have came in, they could have come in a mystery box. Oh, Jen Goody, celebrate the season. <gasps> it's so pretty, Jen. So pretty. Look at how pretty that is. And then here's some for 99 cents. And I know there's some in excess that are free. So much fun. Oh, I love these. These are by uh, Riley, or not Riley Blake. She does the, ooh, look at this one. This is, it's the Natalie Milan. I love her paper. Yay, Kay just ordered her very first Cricut. Congrats. It is, you can only upload one file at a time. Okay, so now this one, uh, I would make it bigger. Look how pretty that is. So you can make planner stickers. You know, you just make the shape you want. You line them up how you want. You can write on them or add words to them and make them print. You can change them to any thing. Isn't that beautiful? Um, let's look at some more. Scrolling down. Here's some camouflage. You can, um, use filters. So you can choose the colors you want. You can choose access. And choose free. Let's see what's free. Oh, free and access. Let's get rid of the access. Oh, there's none for free right now. Just an access.
Look at the owls. And then it, like I would make those bigger. This is pretty. Uh, for digital paper, I would use as pattern fills. Let me show you one more thing that you can use patterns for, but wait, I'm gonna make this bigger. Just because I think it'd be pretty. Um, like, let me go to images. Something that I love. The reason you'd use pattern fill instead of printing a whole sheet of digital paper is because you're not wasting the ink in your printer. You're only using the ink on exactly what you want. Okay, I love Teddy Bear Parade. Okay, let's, let's do this one. I think I did a video using this when patterns first came out. Okay. We're running out of room here. <laughs> Move these things out of the way. Whoops. Okay, go away. All right. Okay, now we're going to give him a pattern shirt. Only his shirt. So we're going to click on his shirt, make it print, add a pattern. Um, what is the little... I'm thinking he's a boy teddy bear, but I guess it doesn't matter, does it? wants music on his shirt. Let me change this so you can see this better. See how his, oh, and it also changed his strings too to music, which you could uh, separate those and change that. You can, um, like if we duplicated him, And let's move this out of the way. Do you guys ever just sit and play in Design Space? Or am I the only one that does that? We're going to ungroup. We're going to select his balloons here. And, oh, change it back to cut. We're going to contour. So we're going to get rid of the balloons. Oh, you know what we should have done first? Um, duplicate it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate his shirt, hit contour, and his balloons come back. And we're gonna hide his shirt. So now we can change this to his shirt to print, and the balloons will not also change to print. So we're going to have a little girl one too. Although music can be girl or boy. Oh wait, let's, I can't see that one. Let's change that. Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? No. Yeah, you can customize anything. So I can cut out all these. Let's say I don't want to cut or I don't want to print everything. I just want to make his shirt have a pattern. You can just print his shirt. Okay, I'm looking at your, I'm not just sitting here in silence, I'm sorry. I'm um, reading comments. You guys are amazing. Thank you, Glenda, for helping out so much, and Jamie. All right. Did, did you guys learn anything today? If you learned something, please give me a thumbs up. And you could just, you can add, um, oh wait, I just got an idea. Because that's what I do when I play. 
guess I didn't need to click that. It's first birthday. It's in writing style. I want to change it to regular style. I don't want to write on it. I want to... Let's have a different font. Oh, I could put balloons. I don't really want that, though. Okay, I'm going to switch to just Cricut fonts. Okay, we're going to do that one. And we're going to, it has a layer to it, so we're going to unhide that layer. We're going to move the letters closer together. just barely <laughs> moving okay we're gonna make it smaller we're gonna put it on the shirt it's our first birthday now I would probably make the ST in that shorter and all that but I'm gonna I have the first selected I'm hitting command key and I'm gonna click on the t-shirt and I had that selected so they're both selected you can see in the layers panel the numbers are selected and the shirt is selected. And then I'm gonna click flatten. So now it will print with that on the shirt. How do you find the printable area? Um, if you make any image, say these balloons, I'm gonna click on them. And then up here, I have a choice to cut, write them. I can write the balloons. See how it changes it to write? Or you can score them, and the score tool will score them. I don't suggest that. It won't do much. Or you can print them. And then right underneath the print, you have to click Pattern. So to find the patterns, you have to click on the image in the Layers panel, and it has to be Print or click Print, and then you find the patterns. Let me change these filters because it would be so much prettier with this or this one. I like this is one of my favorites. Let's do it this one. Now, if you've learned a lot today and you're new, go back to some of my other videos. My I do live videos every Saturday morning. And there's 35 other videos. So here I changed the balloons to this pattern. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be back next Saturday at 11 a.m. And if there's something you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Thanks, guys. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video.